Hello everyone, Rebellion Bricks, and today we are going to be looking at the rumors or leaks, they're pretty much solidified on all of these, of the Star Wars 2021 Summer Wave. Now, first up, we have 75307 Advent Calendar, price 40. We don't really have any leaks of what's going to be in it, it's just, I mean, Advent Calendar. Now getting into the actual good stuff. 75308 is the UCS R2-D2. Now we have had a leaked photo pretty much of this, which I'm showing on the screen now. This uh, leaked photo was showing the new Scout Trooper helmets, which are uh, out. I was going to put them in here, but they're already out, so I didn't actually mention them. Um, and it was leaked right under the Scout Trooper. You can actually see the top of the R2-D2. Now, the 2014 one, or 2012, that R2-D2 had a lot more studdage on top of it, where this one looks a lot more smooth. So I'm excited for that, but I don't think I'm going to pick it up because it's 200 bucks. Next up is 75309 UCS Republic Gunship for 350 bucks. Now this, I don't know if I'm going to pick it up because, you know, that's expensive. I don't really have any sets that expensive. The most expensive set I have... Uh, Retail price 160 bucks, or if it's not retail price, maybe uh, Krennic Shuttle. But I don't know if I'll pick this up. If I have enough money for it, I will pick it up because you know it looks promising. And the minifigures that are rumored, these are not solidified. This ones are just rumors. Uh, is gonna have Mace Windu and a clone bomber. Next one is 75310 Mandalore Throne and Vault. Now, uh, this was to have Darth Maul and Ahsoka Tano. It's supposed to be the fight in Season 7 of Clone Wars. Now, I haven't finished Clone Wars, so I haven't gotten to this part. But I don't think I'm going to buy it unless they have exclusive prints, because I already have the Ahsoka from the AAT, and I have Darth Maul. So I don't think I'll be picking this up unless it has exclusive prints, then I will be picking it up. Next up is 75311 Imperial Troop Transport. That's going to be 40 bucks, and the minifigure is supposed to be Grief Karga, Stormtrooper, and a Mortar Trooper. Now... I'm definitely picking this up. 40 bucks for Imperial uh, Troop Transport. That seems amazing. Plus two Stormtroopers, although the new Stormtrooper doesn't look amazing. I hope maybe they change it, but I don't think they will. The Mortar Trooper, this is what it looks like in the actual universe. I am excited for that 100%. And Grief Karga, I don't have yet because I haven't bought the Razor Crest yet, but it's going to retire soon for some reason. So I'm 100% going to pick it up soon. I just haven't. I just don't have 130 right now, um, but Grief Carver, I hope, has little gray hair or something like he does in the actual show. Next up is 75312 Slave 1, which will be 50 bucks. Now, this is uh, with the series of, like, Lego Star Wars sets that are timmed down, like the X-Wing or the TIE Fighter from 2021. And so 50 bucks for a Slave 1, which I, I wish it was more expensive because I don't have a Slave 1 yet. And I really want one, but I hope it looks good, and it's supposed to have Boba Fett and Han Solo. And I have both of those figures, so I hope the Han Solo in it is the one from Episode 5, Cloud City. Next up is 75313, UCS ATAT. -AT. The minifigures are unknown, and it's going to be $800, which uh, the pieces, I, I, we don't know either. But I don't, I'm not going to buy the set, because it's like 800 bucks. If I were to buy an 800 bucks set, I'm going to get the Millennium Falcon, obviously. But I feel like it will be cool. I just feel like it's going to be the size of a dog. Like an at, -AT for $800. I don't know. It's, it's also weird to have two at, -AT on the market right now. Next up is 75314, the Bad Batch Shuttle. Now this is also from Season 7 of Clone Wars. And I don't really know a lot about these people. Because I haven't. I'm only on like Season 4, I think. But the minifigure is supposed to be Hunter, Reckler, Crosshair, Tech, and Echo. Now that's supposed to be all of the minifigures in one. I, I don't, I, I just don't know how to believe that, because it's, like, with the Knight of Ren set, it's, like, all of them came in different sets. I have all of the Knights of Ren, because I wanted all of them, but they came in different sets. They all came in different sets. Came in, like, four different sets. There was the TIE Dagger, there was, uh, the Resistance X-Wing, the Kylo Ren Imperial Shuttle, or Kylo Ren something shuttle, um, and then there was the actual Knight of Ren transport. Um, but I, if they're all in one set, great. I'm gonna pick this up no matter what, because 100 bucks doesn't seem bad for a shuttle of any kind. Next up is 75315, Moff Gideon's Cruiser. It's supposed to be 160 bucks, and it's supposed to have the Mandalorian, Grogu, Cara Dune, Fennec Shand, Moff Gideon, and another figure that we don't know of at this moment. Now, I don't know about the Cara Dune. Uh, Cara Dune, as if you don't know, her actor has been taken out of the show for controversial stuff she said on Twitter. 
so I don't know if they're gonna have a Caradoon figure. Um, I, I don't know, but um, I think I'm most excited for Moff Gideon and the ship. The ship, I feel like it's gonna be massive. It's gonna be amazing. And I don't have a Star Destroyer, and I really want a Star Destroyer, and I feel like this is the closest we're gonna get in 2021. So I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Next up is 75316 Mandalorian Fighter. The price is gonna be 60 bucks. The minifigures are gonna be Bo-Katan, Kraz, or Kraz, Gar Sukstan, Mandalorian Loyalist, and this one I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick it up for 60 bucks. I don't feel it's gonna be bad. Uh, I, I think it's just gonna be a better option. Uh, it's gonna be a better version of the $10 less one that came out right here. I'm gonna buy it, although I still need to get caught up in the Clone Wars. Uh, next set is 75319 Mystery Set. I'm gonna be price 30 bucks. It's supposed to be an exclusive set rather to Target, Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Now, this mystery set, a lot of people think it may be a mega battle pack like it was uh, in 2020 with the 501st pack. Now, I just don't think that's going to happen. I don't know why, I just I just don't feel like it's going to happen. One thing that a lot of people have been throwing around, which I feel like would be really good, is um, a Obi-Wan Starfighter, like how they had Anakin Starfighter in 2020. Next up is 75369, Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Price is unknown. The figure is supposed to be Darth Vader, Admiral Priet, and a Stormtrooper. That's supposed to be a 18 plus set, so I don't really know a lot about this, but I, I feel it's going to be cool. I'm definitely going to pick this up, and I think it's going to be pretty cool, and I think it's going to be a good set. And that is all of the sets that are going to be rumored to come out in 2021. Now, out of all these sets, which one is my favorite? I'd say Moff Gideon's ship or the Imperial Stormtrooper transport thing. I think that's gonna be really cool. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. What is your favorite set? What set are you most excited for? What set are you definitely gonna pick up? What sets are you not gonna pick up? Tell me everything in the comments. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and reviews and more Lego stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.